Hi, it's Nick from UK Gardening. I've got this hydrangea that needs a prune. Now most hydrangeas um, flower on last year's wood, or old wood. So what you really want to do is just uh, take off the, the old heads. And normally you wait until late April, early May, after all uh, signs of frost have passed. Um, but I'm going to do it a little bit earlier, um, beginning of April. Um, and then if, it, if we do get a frost, then I, it'll just check the ends of it and you can actually just prune down those end, those, um, those bits that are affected. So all, it, all you have to do is take an old head. You can see this is already, um, because we've had such a mild winter, this is already in full leaf. Um, but what I'm going to do is two things. One, last year one of the main stems got broken, so I had to put a support in. So I'm going to take that support out and the stem that we're supporting as you can see is now is now grown and it's now self-supporting but if you've got an old hydrangea like this one you can actually renovate it over a three-year period you can actually take out a third um, over three years and that actually regenerates the whole plant um, so what I'm going to do now is actually that, that main branch I'm going to take the whole lot out so I've got my loppers here and I'm going to go right down to almost ground level. Get the loppers down right way. So almost to ground level and I'll take that one out. So if I take that out, you can see that it's a significant part of the plant. It's about a third of the plant. And I'll get rid of that this support. Use that somewhere else in the garden. Um, yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm actually just going to take the, the heads down. Now this applies to most um, lace cap and um, mop head hydrangeas uh, that flower on last year's wood. There are some hydrangeas that flower on this year's wood. They grow really rapidly. If you're not sure what you've got, which one you've got, leave the uh, or take the flower heads off, prune them very lightly, um, and then if they are flowering on this year's wood then um, then you can cut them down a lot a lot further almost to the base. I want to get rid of any uh, crossing branches. Take that down to the bud. Take that down to the bud. Generally you just want to take them down. About six inches. This one's quite easy because I'll just take it down to a a growing leaf, but you might actually see that there's a flower bud. So I'll take that out. Take that. That's rather spindly, so I'll take him out. Right, this one. Um, this is this is split here, so I'm going to take that back to good wood. And this one. Is crossing, so I'm going to set that one back to there. That one again is crossing, but I'm going to take him back to I'm going to take that one back to there. What you want to try and end up with is a sort of goblet shape. Uh, so it allows air to flow through and actually reduce the chances of infection and disease. Right there. This one hasn't been pruned for a couple of years actually. Um,
these ones I'm going to take back because they're going to be growing over the lawn and the chances of them broken by me walking past with the lawn are quite high. Take at this. There's a bit of a little bud growing there. This one's dying back to there. To there. Got some growth down there. Another broken branch here. Yeah. Get down. I'll just take these last few heads out. These old, last few old heads. It. Uh, just have a just have a last look round for any dead bits. Obviously, if there are any dead bits, they're not going to do anything, so you can come back and take them out later on in the season. But that's pretty much done. What I'll do is next year, I'll take out another third and actually get this much more out of a stocky, uh, lower growing plant. Thanks very much for your time. If you've got any questions, please post them below. Cheers.